Okay guys, so this is the Galaxy J2 Pro and in this video I will show you how to flash the custom recovery on a phone that doesn't have the OM unlock so in this video I will uh, give a tutorial on how to enable the OM unlock on this phone that doesn't support the OM unlock so you can successfully install custom recovery so stay tuned and check it out Okay, hello guys. Assalamualaikum. <coughs> we meet again with Ombap. Okay, this time we have a uh, Galaxy J2 Pro. With the code name is J250F. Okay. So in this video, I will show you how to root the spawn. Okay, maybe some of you guys that have uh, same problem like I do. The problem is we do not have the OIM unlock in the spawn. Okay. So it means that we cannot flash custom firmware uh, for example the custom recovery or uh, the other stuff okay I will show you usually when we go to the developer option there is the OM unlock but there is now OM unlock this spawn okay let's go to the settings like usual <clears throat> uh, sorry brightness okay and then go to the bot one to activate the where's my glass <clears throat> goes to the bot one okay then software information and hit the build number five times okay to activate the developer option okay and then go back go back and developer option <clears throat> and you can see right here we don't have any om unlock okay so it means that we cannot flash the custom recovery or custom firmware like the patch boot Okay, so how do we solve this problem? Okay, so we're going to solve this problem by flashing custom uh, combination firmware. Okay, uh, but before that, I want to show you that we cannot flash custom firmware in this one. Okay, so let's turn it off <coughs> and let's go to the download mode. Okay. Download mode can be accessed by pressing the volume down, home button, and power button at the same time. So, okay, like usual, the old Samsung phone. Yeah, you can see right here. Uh, can you see it? The I am unlock is on. Okay, so basically, uh, when you see this message, OM unlock on, it means that. <clears throat> we cannot flash the custom firmware okay I will take a picture and put it in the in my block okay okay let's try to flash custom recovery and we will see that it will fail okay now I'm opening the Odin okay let's open the custom recovery let's copy and go to the option tab and take out reboot go to the IP and paste the path okay and then let's plug the HP cable okay now it's detected and hit the start button Okay, as it expected, uh, we failed to flash the custom recovery. Okay, because what? Because we don't have the OM unlock turned on. So how do we solve this problem? Okay, so stay tuned, and 
let's try to flash a uh, combination firmware okay guys so this is where i save the combination file you can see right here the name is combination underscore f a c okay and i will put the link in my blog okay so you just need to open it and extract the file i already extract in here okay it is just one file okay so let's copy the pad right here open audience and reset okay hit the ap button paste the pad and let's select the firmware okay but before we want to reboot again to the download mode so force reboot the pawn by pressing form and down home button and power button and goes to the download mode again Okay, now just press the film up. And now we are in the download mode again and we have a combination when we're at here. All you need to do is just hit the start button. Okay, it will start pressing. And <clears throat> it takes time. So I'll skip this one. After it finishes, the pawn will automatically reboot to the combination firmware. Okay. So I'll skip this one. Okay, now it's already finished and it automatically reboots to the combination firmware. And the name is changing to the Galaxy Prime Pro. <laughs> okay, just wait. <clears throat> and you, you will see the screen, the factory binary. <clears throat> okay. The combination firmware is quite small, size is just 600 megabyte when it's compressed. Okay. <clears throat> After this, you will see a home screen that looks different from the Samsung uh, uh, firmware. Okay. You can see right here now we are in the download mode. Uh, sorry. We are in the combination firmware. There is lots of option right here. Usually this firmware is used to <coughs> test and fix several problems. Okay. But in our video we will just use it to activate the OM unlock. Okay. So the next step is swipe from the up to bottom like this. Uh, so okay let's swipe it and we'll see an settings icon right here you swipe it to the bottom and you will see a developer option okay just hit the developer option and here we go now we have uh, i am unlocked right here can can you see it okay just enable it and that's all hey okay, guys <laughs> Let's enable the OM unlock and go back okay and for the next step we want to turn off the phone let's turn off the phone by just pressing the power button it will automatically turn off the spawn <coughs> okay and then we need to go to the download mode again okay as usual slow down home button and power button okay, and then press the flow up now we are in the download mode again and we want to flash the stock firmware 
right now. Okay, now let's switch the screen. You can see right here now I have a stock formula right here. Just open it and extract all the files into a folder like this. Okay, let's copy the path and open Odin. Okay, just reset this button and then make sure you have unchecked the auto reboot. Okay, go to the app, uh, hit the AP button and let's paste it select the ap button and select all the files okay the ap button is quite large so it takes times and after that just load all the files okay the ap the bl cp and csc <coughs> okay let's switch again you can see right here now we have uh, OM unlock still turn on but we're going to expect that we can flash the custom firmware from here okay so let's switch again now we have finished load the AP let's flash the BL <coughs> Okay, the CP and the CSC. Okay, and make sure you don't uh, make sure you uncheck the auto reboot because we don't want to go to the Android home screen. Okay, after this, we want to go to the download mode again. Okay, so hit the start button and we'll wait. Okay, I'll skip this one and here we go now we are already finished flashing the firmware and for the next step we want to go to the download mode again okay okay like like usual force reboot the pawn press the volume down home button and power button at the same time Okay, nice. Now let's switch again. Let's hit the reset button right here. Check the auto reboot. And <clears throat> let's select the path where you have the custom recovery. Okay, hit the AP button, paste it, and select. Okay. And let's hit the start button, and it will start flashing. Okay, you can see right here, now we have successfully flashed, okay, before it fails because it is has a OM unlock on, but now it's OM unlock off, okay, let's switch the screen, <clears throat> you can see right here, uh, maybe you cannot see it, but the OM unlock is off, okay. So now let's try to <clears throat> to boot into the custom recovery. Okay, as usual, for three boot pawn, follow me down, power power button and home button. After the pawn reboot, quickly switch from the follow me down to follow up. Okay, let's try it. Okay, you can see right there now it's it is there is a message right there the blue screen it said recovery booting okay let's wait until it boots <coughs> and here we go so now we have a working custom recovery on 
our Studio 2 Pro. Okay. So that's all, guys. This is a tutorial on how to <coughs> place a custom recovery on your <coughs> Samsung Galaxy J2 Pro with without the OM unlock. Okay. <coughs>